Hello everyone. And uh well um we're in the final hours of 2022 or the final yeah, the final hour of 2022 and I thought we should do December what I watched this month for December. If you haven't seen the previous one, uh there's I just started it like last month. So, I'm going to do this every month and we'll start with the films I watched. So the first film I watched this month was It's a Wonderful Life. I watched it for the first time ever, and I absolutely loved it. Jimmy Stewart, Donna Reed were excellent in this movie. I loved the supporting cast, and of course, I absolutely love Frank Capra as a director. I have seen it in, uh, his film It Happened One Night, and uh, you can't take it with you, um, which both won Best Picture. His only two films that won Best Picture. Uh, this movie was probably his best film, in my opinion. It knocks It Happened One Night off the list of my top 50 favorite films of all time. Uh, so that was It's a Wonderful Life, and that was the only Christmas theme watch I watched this month. It was the only one I really, really wanted to watch this month. Um, the next one I watched was a rewatch of a film uh that i really wanted to rewatch for the longest time it was a criterion i owned uh, that i really really wanted to rewatch uh and that was notorious directed by alfred hitchcock honestly i loved it more on a rewatch it was just amazing uh carrie grant ingrid bergman uh, who gave one of my favorite performances from an actress ever um you'll see that in my uh oscars themed video that i may are making soon um uh, Claude Rains probably stole the show for me, uh, besides from Ingrid Bergman, I really loved, uh, Claude Rains, <laughs> why did I forget his name for a moment, Claude Rains was excellent as always, I've seen him in tons of things like the Universal Monster, uh, Universal Monster movies, and Lawrence of Arabia, and so, tons of other things, of course Casablanca, uh, the next one I watched was another rewatch too. I kind of re I rewatched a few movies this month, and that was Sunset Boulevard. I absolutely love this movie. It's in my top fifteen favorite movies of all time. And if you haven't seen, uh, well, it's not it hasn't come out yet, but I'm doing the first part of the Billy Wilder marathon, and I rewatched this, and I absolutely loved it. I probably have a bigger appreciation for it, even though I have. I previously had a huge appreciation for it uh, prior to watching it, but I absolutely love this movie, and I hope to rewatch it tons of more times in the future. The next one was also a Billy Wilder movie. I watched tons of his, well, a couple of his movies this month, uh, two for the uh, first time watches, but I rewatched Some Like It Hot. I loved it on rewatch it became a nine it used to be a nine on ten movie and now it's a ten on ten movie i absolutely love it tony curtis uh uh jack lemon probably stole the show and then marilyn monroe is also excellent i do want to see more movies from her uh the next movie was another billy wilder movie but it was a first time watch and i wanted to watch this movie before the year ended and that was double identity the terror uh the top uh the Cherry on Top for Noirs. I absolutely loved this. It was a 9 on 10 for me. I didn't love it completely. It wasn't perfect, but I absolutely loved it. And it was probably one of my favorite watches uh, of uh, this month. So, what did, uh, I think, yes, the next movie I watched was a recent movie. It was Avatar, The Way of Water, directed by James Cameron. I haven't seen the original one, so, you know, it's kind of embarrassing that I haven't seen it, and I'm a, such a huge movie buff, but this one was, was just really weird, but, like, kind of good weird. I just, it, it was fine. I mean, I rated a 7 out of 10. It was decent at, at most. It's, I've only seen this and Aliens, which is one of my favorite films of all time uh, from James Cameron, and I hope to see the, the Terminator movies again two movies i the first two at least uh two movies i'm very embarrassed i have not seen um so the next movie i watched was a jimmy stewart movie i really want to get into more jimmy stewart movies you know i've seen the like uh 
the more famous ones, except for, like, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. I'm hoping to watch that next month, hopefully. Uh, but that was, I think it's called Made for Each Other. Uh, that was fine. It was a 7 out of 10. It also stars, um, sorry, I just got a notification there. Uh, uh, Carol Lombard, is that how you pronounce her name? I know that she was a prominent actress and she was married to Clark Gable, but her life was cut short, Sally, because of a plane crash. She's in some uh, Ernst Lubitsch films, and I really want to see uh, To Be or Not To Be. But this film was fine. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. It was at most decent. And I hope to see more films from Jimmy Stewart, uh, who was, you know, he was probably the standout. Um, the next movie I watched was my final Billy Wilder movie for part one of the Billy Wilder Marathon, and that was Sabrina, starring Audrey Hepburn, William Holden, and Humphrey Bogart. Um, I loved William Holden in the two other movies I've seen him in, Sunset Boulevard and Network, but I just found him, I just found him okay in this movie. I thought he was decent. Um, but Audrey Hepburn and Humphrey Bogart, you know, I love Humphrey Bogart. I've seen him in Casablanca, The Maltese Falcon, and The African Queen, and then I've seen tons of Audrey Hepburn movies. Uh, I absolutely love them too. Uh, I'm glad the en the ending uh, ended the way it did because I absolutely loved that ending. I'm glad, if you haven't seen the movie, it's spoilers, but I'm glad she ended up with Linus over David. Uh, but I would give that film an 8 out of 10. That, it wasn't my favorite Wilder movie, but it wasn't a bad Wilder movie. It was actually great. Um, what was my next watch? Was it my final watch? Yes, it was my final watch. My final watch was today, and I really, really, really wanted to watch this before the month ended, and that was Anatomy of a Murder, directed by Otto Preminger, and again starring Jimmy Stewart. I feel like Jimmy Stewart, I've been trying to watch more of his movies, and... You know, this month I watched three more, so I've seen seven of his movies now, and I'm glad I've seen this one. This was excellent. I am a sucker for courtroom dramas. It is my favorite genre of film, and I just absolutely loved this. This was my favorite watch of the month by far, like my first time watch. Actually, It's a Wonderful Life was my favorite, but this was second. This was phenomenal. Jimmy Stewart probably gives his second best performance, or third, I think It's a Wonderful Life and Vertigo is way better, a, a, I mean a bit better, but court, courtroom dramas and Jimmy Stewart, like the two things I love combined, makes an excellent combination. Otto Preminger, such an underrated director, I mean, I've seen, I've seen him, his films, Where the Sidewalk Ends, and uh, Laura, and I absolutely, I wouldn't, I didn't say, I mean, I didn't love where the sidewalk ends, but I did love Laura. But overall, this this month was amazing. Uh, I didn't watch as much as I did last month, where I watched 15 movies. So I watched nine this month, but my physical media haul, quite enormous. Uh, enormous, not enormous, what? I don't know. But the first film, if you've been on this channel before, you see me talk about this film tons lately or previously at the beginning of the month and that is 2001 directed by stanley kubrick uh this is on 4k my first 4k i did an unboxing and a review uh of the film not how good this film looks i know how film uh this good this film looks like in general it's probably one of the most beautiful films ever um and one of my favorites i absolutely love this this is a masterpiece 10 out of 10 I hope to rewatch this soon. I've been trying for a few months now, so I just can't get past the hour mark. I don't know. I just want to watch something else. I've seen it. I want to watch new movies. Doesn't mean, it doesn't mean it's bad. So the next watch of the month was I actually just saying I got more Criterion's than I did Blu-rays. Uh, I just got two Blu-rays, but also one I haven't shown you uh, like on my channel at all. The video. Of the unboxing of it will come soon, but I kind of just showed you what I was was showing you. Uh, it is Sunset Boulevard. Like I said, I rewatched it and I rewatched this. This was excellent. I mean, one of the greatest films ever, if not 
probably like top five best classic movies ever. I highly recommend this if you have not seen it. Amazing. I, like I said, one of the best films ever made. Now we're on the Criterions. There's one Blu-ray, but I'll put that at the end because I have not shown it to anyone at all uh, on the channel. The review, or I mean the unboxing, I haven't seen the film yet, but the review of it, uh, the unboxing, why am I, I don't know, but the unboxing of it will come soon, I think tomorrow. Uh, but let's get to the Criterions. So this is another Kubrick movie. If you know me, I've been wanting this film for a while, like a long time. So when I got it for Christmas, I mean, I watched it last month, so I'm probably gonna wait till February to watch this. But that is Paths of Glory, directed by Stanley Kubrick, of course. Um, stars Kirk Douglas, I did a review of this. This film is my second favorite Kubrick film. Sorry. Uh, I absolutely love this, adore it, 10 out of 10. I forgot to rate this, this is a 10 out of 10, of course. Um, Yes, this film was perfect. I mean, it's perfect. It's honestly, uh, it's a sad movie and it's really realistic in terms of what, re like, it's just a sad movie. I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. It's amazing. And it's only 88 minutes, so. The next film, I talked about it on the, the first time watches. Wait, so I'll just, yeah, there, wait. And... It is Sun Like It Hot, directed by Billy Wilder. Um, this film turned into, a, used to be a 9, like I said, and now it's a 10. I absolutely love this. It's so funny. Not my favorite comedy, though. Uh, it's my second. It's behind Bringing Up Baby. Um, Jack Lemmon, probably, the, probably my favorite thing about this movie, besides the comedy. It's hilarious and so weird for its time, but it... It was amazing, so. Some Like It Hot, it's a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend this. One of the most famous films of all time. It's probably Wilder's most famous one. Now we're onto a film. I think if you're a fan of movies, you should own this. And that is 12 Angry Men. I did a review yesterday of it, and it's probably one of the few perfect movies ever. There's a handful. But this film is just perfect. It's a masterpiece. I think Henry Fonda gives one of the greatest performances ever. And this film, if you have not seen it, you're living under a rock. Or if you haven't heard of it, you're living under a rock. You need to watch this movie. It is probably the best movie ever. Besides The Godfather. And North by Northwest. But that is a personal preference. So, so this was my last watch of the month. And... You probably know what it is. It's Anatomy of a Murder, directed by Otto Preminger and starring Jean Stewart. Like I said, I absolutely loved this. This was amazing. I mean, probably, the probably besides 12 Angry Men and maybe Witness for the Prosecution, the best courtroom drama ever. It is three hours, but you're not going to regret it. It kind of flew by a bit. I was kind of expecting, like, a twist but a, there's no twist at the end spoiler alert um i really did like lee remick and ben gazzara and it's pretty ahead of its time in terms of like what the, what they say in this movie and what it's about um i will do a review of this very soon but i mean i'm not after i'm gonna take a break because i just i uh, have two videos the billy wilder marathon part one it's coming the second, and then the unboxing, uh, uh, like a CD and a Blu-ray, is coming tomorrow. So, this is a 10 out of 10. So, now we're on the Blu-ray I have not seen, and I did an unboxing for. I just bought this today, and I was thinking uh, I was going to feature it next month, uh, because I was going to watch, I'm going to watch it next month for sure. I'm actually going to watch it tomorrow, but that is One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I'm surprised I haven't even seen this movie. It is a very famous movie, and I know that Jack Nicholson gives a great performance, and Danny DeVito and Christopher Lloyd are in this movie, and the late great uh, Louis Fletcher is in this. Uh, I know this movie is very good, and it's on the IMDb Top 20, I believe, 
so I'm looking forward to it. It's a digibook, and it's my first. It kind of sticks out on the shelf, which I'm kind of bummed out a bit by, but it's not that bad, actually. Um, yeah, this is a great uh, release. Not I, I haven't even seen the movie, but I'm hoping this is a great movie, and I probably will love it. Probably will give it a 10 out of 10. That's what I estimate. So, if you enjoyed this, like and if you didn't dislike i don't really care uh it's your personal preference and then if you want to subscribe it's optional but it really helps out um so yeah bye hope you have a happy new year